Hello everyone and welcome to another video in my series for Case Me Christmas Card for 2021. So today I'm making this glittery snowflake card and my guest is Jen Timko. So I'm going to show you the card that I'll be casing a little bit later on. I'm just going to start with making snowflakes for the card. So I'm using some glitter cardstock from Hero Arts. And um, this particular one comes in a pack with white and black glitter paper. I'm obviously using the white. And I have a bunch of snowflakes here. So most of these snowflakes are from Simon Says Stamp, but one of them is from Picket Fence Studios. So we have the Bliss, sorry, Big Bliss snowflake. We have the Marianne snowflake. We have the Kate snowflake. And we have the Eliza snowflake, all from Simon Says Stamp. And we also have one of the um, snowflakes from Picket Fence Studios Winter Snowflakes die set. So I cut them out and I punched out all the little holes from them and here is the card that I'm casing today. So you can see there are white die cuts in the background and that's what I am using on mine. There's also a big large um, blue sentiment that is layered um, and the whole panel is layered onto a white cardstock that is slimline. So you can see that I'm using some of the elements of this card and some of them I'm just changing up a bit. So my card is in landscape format like Jen's is, uh, but mine is not a slimline card. It's a standard size card front. I am layering a panel onto the card base, but instead of the colour just being in the sentiment, I'm going to be putting the colour into the background. So I'm using my life-changing blender brushes here and I'm just going to be adding a little gradient of this sort of icy green blue colour which is a um, salvaged patina distress oxide ink. So I'm just going to be using that um, as a background but then later on I'm going to be using it in my little sub sentiment as well. So just wanted to add that a little bit down the sides as well as right across the top, but I didn't want it to cover the entire um, panel. However, I am going to be putting the snowflakes all the way around the panel. Now I'm also using this die from uh, Simon Says Stamp. This is the Happy Christmas um, word die and it has a shadow um, a layer behind it and I was originally going to use that but um, I decided not to. I was originally going to use it because Jen's card had the layer behind it but then I decided just to go with the word Christmas instead of the um, both of the words Happy Christmas and to stamp this um, extra little sentiment underneath. So this extra little sentiment is from a stamp and cut set from Hero Arts which is called Christmas Holidays. That set actually comes with two very large word dies, um, which also have layers on them. But I wanted this sort of scripty font on this one. And because, of course, the die from Simon Says Stamp has the shadow behind both of the words, I decided just not to go with the layers. All right, so here are all my um, snowflakes. And you can see they don't go all the way around this panel, but that's okay because I'll show you what I did. So I'm just adding some liquid glue behind these snowflakes and putting them all the way around the edge. I'm making sure to leave uh, a bit of space right in the middle for that uh, Christmas um, word die to go. And I'm just adding um, glue just to the bits that I am fairly sure are going to be on the card panel at the moment. The bits hanging off the edge, I'm not really worrying about them too much. And then I'm going to be cutting off the excess around the edge and I'm just using my little scissors to do this but I'm not chucking them just yet I'm keeping them because I'm going to be adding them in in just a minute so I cut off those excess then I added a couple more of those snowflakes down the bottom and then I'm just going through my little stash of offcuts to just fill in some of the gaps here and there um, to make sure there were no empty spots anywhere on the sort of edge of this panel all right so I was happy with that again I cut off the excess little pieces around the edges with my scissors and now I can get rid of all those little bits that I'm finished with. 
Now, because these snowflakes and the word die are both cut from the same glitter cardstock as each other, and because I decided not to go with the shadow behind the word Christmas, I decided to layer up the word Christmas. So I cut out some more pieces of um, white cardstock this time. Um, with this Christmas dye and layered them up with some liquid glue. And you can see I'm using liquid glue from Hero Arts here. Now, doing this, it does take a bit of time to make sure you get all of the letters lined up um, before you stick them. It's not too difficult with liquid glue, um, but it makes such a difference to the card, um, especially in person. It really stands out. And because of the thickness of the um, die cut sentiment word, it sort of creates a bit of a shadow, whereas the snowflakes don't really create much of a shadow themselves. So it makes it stand out that way. All right. So I'm just finishing um, squishing them together and getting rid of all the excess glue that squidges out from the sides. I'm notorious for adding way too much glue when I do this. Now you might notice that the um, dot on the eye is missing. I didn't layer that up um, because I have found in the past that when I try and do that with a dot on the eye and try and layer it up, I end up just getting so frustrated and failing abysmally and chucking it out in the end anyway. So the dot on the eye of the glitter cardstock was still stuck in this piece of glitter cardstock. So I just put some glue on the back and pop, plopped it into place and all done. So it doesn't really matter that there's, it's not layered up. Now I wanted my panel to be a little bit late as well. So I took, you can see this piece of cardstock is, has got smudges on it because I tried to print something on this cardstock and it's actually 110 pound Nina, which my printer doesn't like. I thought I'd, I'd, I should have got thinner cardstock. Anyway, I decided to keep this, even though it's got smudges all over it, to layer up underneath. Now nobody will know, except everybody will now know because I just told you. But you won't see it on the card, so it doesn't matter. All right. So I'm just going to add my last little layer of glue here behind my panel and make sure it's pretty much centered. And then do the same thing, put some glue on the back. I need to get a new container of glue because this one's starting to run out. And pop that onto my card front and then I am done. So I hope you can see the inspiration that I took from Jen's card, but also see that I've made my card my own um, and made it it's different enough from Jen's card. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a close-up of all that sparkle from that glitter cardstock and um, all the beautiful um, ink blending behind those snowflakes. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye.